Cats and Bulldogs running wild tonight ah. in Montezuma. The Macon County Bulldogs hosting the Dooley County Bobcats. And now Dooley County and Macon County face off in this Central Georgia rivalry. Coach Dexter Copeland and his boys looking to go 3-0 and on the young season. And Macon County starts it off on the left, y'all. Senior quarterback Brian Harris Jr. keeps it himself. Takes it outside until it gets yanked down by a defender to the ground. A little laundry to go along with that tackle. Results in a first down for the Bulldogs. Macon County. Attempting a field goal on fourth down here. The Dooley, they defense, they block it right there, and the score is still tied up. Nothing, nothing in the first. Now check out the Bulldog offense again. Back to work over the middle for a nice gain right there. Harris Jr. looking to throw, finds Amari Shelley, and Macon County back in the red zone. Harris back in the shotgun. This time he finds the wrong guy or the right guy. Depends who you're rooting for. Jalen Ball. That cuts the intended pass off with a nice return as an interception and gets Dooley County and Dooley in great field. The Bobcat faithful letting it roar. And the offense couldn't capitalize, however, as Kamaji Patterson takes the quick run in for the game's first score. Bacon County gets on the board, 7-0 Bulldogs. Arr, arr. Bacon County looking to add another score just before halftime. Harris Jr. looks across the middle. Ball hawk, Jalen Bull Hall finds the ball in the end zone to keep it 7 0 going into the half. Third quarter action, Bulldogs back at scoring territory. Freshman running back, Jacavion Parker takes the handoff, brushes off a tackle, and tumbles in for six. Macon County takes on, attacks on another score as they leave 14 0 in the third. Now, will Macon County let the dogs stay on top? Let's check out the FFN scoreboard. And it's all Macon County. They go on to 3 0, 28 0 over Dooley. Whew.